Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. Boy, this has been a lot of work. So I've got a lot going on here. So this is the area that um, I have tilled before and I've grown some stuff, but nothing was really growing really well. So I decided I was gonna retill. And this is a place that I already removed a lot of rock from, but I'm doing this by hand, by the way, <laughs> with this right here. And if you look, those are some rocks. Okay, and this is just right here, from there to here, okay? Um, I've got rocks here. I've got rocks lined up all around my tarps, okay? Got rocks on the ground here, and that wheelbarrow full. And that's what I pulled out of here, all by hand, on the second till. So um, I am tilling all of it. So before I had only tilled like sections. So there is rows that haven't been tilled before uh, that, you know, have a little bit more rock than some other places because, you know, it's brand new ground basically. This is a three day project so far I've done to here by hand. And it's a lot of work. This is what I got going on. So this section here, this is the buckwheat. I'm letting that grow. That's a cover crop. I'm going to pretty soon actually probably stamp it down and then cover that as well because it's already starting to flower. And it didn't get super tall just because, you know, again, it's bad soil. But I've got a way to fix this. So, yeah, this is bad soil. This is not probably going to grow a whole lot, even with some amendments and stuff. But I recently had a shipment come in of check this out so this is 10 yards of compost now I don't need all this for that little 20 by 30 plot roughly that I'm tilling up right now but a guy came and delivered this today and there's really good compost so this is basically leaf mold compost I mean it's a whole bunch of different things not just leaf mold but um, it, it's good stuff if you check it out it's nice and rich and good compost you know it's not it's not a uh, animal uh, you know, compost. It's not uh, manure. This is all like grass clippings and stuff that they, um, you know, any kind of yard waste or uh, green material that they compost out mixed with some shredded up um, wood bark. And so then they compost that out. So it should be really good for adding to this. That's going to be a lot of good microbes, a lot of good uh, stuff basically adding to my soil. So that's what I plan on doing. So that's what I got going on, guys incredible amount of work i can't tell you like for instance even just this hole like one spot when i was tilling i got half of these rocks right here that i haven't transferred over to there okay so i mean that's what i'm doing in just this little area right there okay about about half of these i would say like that okay so there's probably more rock than there is soil unfortunately in my soil i mean you can see them all along the top here and they're much thicker underground. It's rough, um, there's a lot of work. In fact, I missed a couple that I didn't pull out. I mean, you can see them they're everywhere, rocks everywhere. So it's tough, but I will cover this. I'm gonna wet all this down, um, get those seeds to start to try to germinate, then cover it and let these tarps kill off all the weeds. Um, it's gonna be two things, it's gonna not only block the light and keep them from growing, but it's also gonna heat up because we're, we've are we got 100 degree days uh, almost every day right now, 95 to 100 plus, um, you know, right in between there. So when I cover this with the black tarp, that's just gonna kill everything underneath, um, probably cook any weed seeds or anything. Now this will become sterile so soil, so there's not gonna be anything in here to grow, uh, but that's what the compost is for. So then I can just add that compost on top maybe a two or three inch layer and i'll make my rows um you know with the compost and i should be able to get something good now i plan on doing living pathways so i'm gonna section this out to three foot beds and then a two foot pathway so i can walk in between three foot bed two foot pathway that kind of thing and i'll be able to make you know quite a few rows here um once that's ready i'll cover that and do the same thing over here and I can um, add that compost on top. And then of course amendments as well. Maybe fall, I'll be able to start planting some stuff. So probably do a cover crop at first 
to really incorporate everything with the roots into the ground. Probably do, I've got some winter uh, wheat that I think is gonna do really well. That way, you know, I'll, I'll get something growing here. And then next year, hopefully this will become corn like I got there and, you know, anything else I plan on growing right here. Now, one other thing I plan on doing because I got so much compost is I've got someone coming next week and they're gonna remove all the wood stumps, um, you know, the tree stumps that I've got. I've got one right over there, um, one right there. Got them all throughout here. There's one right there, big one right there. So they're gonna remove those with some heavy equipment and then till all this. So I'm gonna have them till from right around here all the way over and I'm gonna add that compost on top. And then I've got bigger tarps that I can cover and do the same thing while I'm doing here with, only this is all by hand. So I'm gonna try to see how this hand does, the hand tilling, which is a lot slower. Um, takes me a long time. I mean, look at these rocks, guys pulling out rocks that are almost the size of my head. I mean, some of them, you know, some smaller, but some bigger. It's just incredible amount of work. I am, I'm wiped out, I'm sore. So um, this is, like I said, three days and I'm almost done, almost, probably another two days and I'll be done. This is gonna be a lot quicker. They're gonna do it in one day. So <laughs> heavy machinery is a little easier. It just costs a lot of money. So uh, once that's tilled up, like I said, it'll be a lot easier. I think they've got some scoops that can pull out the rocks. So all, you know, most of them, probably not all of them, probably only the bigger ones. They'll probably leave smaller stuff like that, but at least the big ones like that will be gone. And then once I cover it, I can come back in and pull sections of that tarp off and start doing, you know, little plots out here as well. I'm getting to the point, guys, getting to the point of no-till. That's what I'm trying to work towards, but I really got to get this soil so much better before I do that. I mean, it's just, <laughs> there are rocks everywhere. Um, I, it, it's just a lot of work, but once this is done, um, then I can just keep this a no-till and hopefully have some good, good beds here, growing some stuff. So this is not enough room for me to grow all the food that my family needs. But I have a feeling over here might, at least the majority of the food that we eat. So this is gonna be a 50 foot from there to there by about 30 feet, 40 feet, like to here, uh, about 40. So 50 by 40, I think is what it is. So they're gonna get all that tilled up. And that should be enough to be able to grow most of the food that we eat. So there we go. That's what's going on. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.